Hey everyone, this episode I'm going to be teaching you how to retrieve data from a dictionary. And your first thought might be to use indexes like you would with a list. So you would say emails and then pass in, let's say we want to grab the first thing, zero. Well, hey, this doesn't actually work. And we'll just run this and see we get a key error zero. Or in other words, no elements were found with that key. The proper way to do it is actually to put in one of these values to grab it. So if you want to grab my email, all you would want to do is pass in Caleb and we're gonna print this just so we can see the output. And we print this and we get caleb at email.com. So that's how you grab data. And the problem here is that sometimes you're gonna get an error and other times you're not. So if you wanna avoid that error, there's two ways you could do this. So I'll show you the first, which I don't really think is the best option, but you'll see it. And then I'll show you the second. So the first way to do this is to actually check if that data exists. So we can say if caleb in emails so if it's found, then we can print the data. So in that situation, it's only gonna try and grab that data if it's found in the dictionary. And running it now, it works, but if we put in something completely wrong, so we'll switch the keys here, like so. If we do that now, nothing happens. We don't get any errors, but we also don't get anything printed. So it works. We could put an else in here saying else not found. So there we go, that is the first way. The other option is to actually use a method on the dictionary, and in this case, if data is not found, you will get none, but there's no exceptions thrown. So what we can do is say emails.get, pass in a key such as Caleb, then we'll just print it. In doing this, we get that value. However, if we put in a key that doesn't exist, such as Caleb with a capital C here, it just says none, which is the equivalent of null, nothing found. So whichever one you prefer, that is totally up to you. You can also pass in a second argument to this get method, which is what you want it to return if there's no data found. So right now, it's just doing none, which is the default. However, you could also do a string, so no user found. In this situation, we would get no user found as the result, which if you want everything to be of the same type or you don't want any nuns, that is how you would do it. So that's how to retrieve data from a dictionary. Up next, we're gonna talk about inserting data to a dictionary, so stay tuned for that.